Back to another in our series, in the Ark Taming series here on Ark Survival Evolved. And today I am taming one of the coolest... Um, one of the coolest modded creatures I have ever seen. And what, what I mean by coolest is one of the most adorable creatures I have ever seen. And the first thing we're going to do is create a Sanguine Elixir. I usually forget about this. And also we're going to put rare flowers into our taming slot. Because we have a level 174. 180 is the max level on my server. Red Panda right there in front of me. And these guys or girls are a passive tame. So the first thing you want to do anytime you have a passive tame in your area is either A, you pick them up and bring them to a safe area, or B, you do what I just did and kill all of the bad things in the area, which I have done, I hope. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to feed him one kibble or a rare flower. They like rare flowers. So we're going to we're going to feed him the rare flower. Then we're going to do the sanguine elixir. Then I'm going to explain how these passive tames work. So feed him the, the thing. Then the thing. And because of the sanguine elixir, it's only going to take two feedings. And my taming settings are 2.5. All right? Now, the first thing you want to do also is have a binturong on your shoulder. Because it will make him poop like crazy. See? Watch. See him poop? And when they poop, they, their food value goes down a lot faster. Food value goes down fast, makes it faster to tame them. Okay? So there's our red panda right there. All right? Now let me throw down binturong here. And then we will pick up the... Um, the red panda. And there he is. All right? Or she. They are so cool. Now, let me tell you what the red pandas can do, what they can be picked up from or with, um, and a little bit more information on them as well. Because these guys are very, very cool. All right? The first thing is, is they have something called Cuddle Buddy. It is a buff to the player. Okay? Um, as long as you have him on your shoulder, you have the buff automatically. It's called Cuddle Buddy. And Cuddle Buddy not only gives you and your allies within the vicinity um, a slight healing buff, but it also acts to calm certain animals, all right? Now, the animals, th these are not giant animals by any stretch of the imagination, right? But they are some of the more annoying animals, like the Pegamastics, and um, and the Ichthyornis, right? The, 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 the steely bird, the, the klepto bird. Those are two of the animals that it will um, make it so they won't notice you. Um, some of the others are the Hesperornis, the Equus, the Kentrosaurus, Manta Rays, Gigantopithecus, so this can help you tame one of those and not let them aggro on you. Tappies won't get aggroed on you. So, like, if you're trying to sneak up on, an, uh, on a Tapajara or something like that to trank it, you won't need to bola it or anything like that. It'll, it'll just stay there. Of course, until you shoot it, then, you know, it'll run away. Um, also, Therizinosaurs, okay? Now, also, when you are riding either a Therizinosaurus or a Gargoylosaurus from the same mod that I'm using, which is Additional Creatures 2 Wild Ark, Whenever you are, uh, whenever you have um, a red panda on your shoulder and you are riding one of those two creatures, um, the weight of wood and organic polymer will decrease by 50% within the inventory of one of those two creatures. Okay? So that is really um, helpful. Also, you will need this creature in order to approach the Dana Kairos. From the same mod, um, Additional Creatures to Wild Ark, uh, because you have to feed the Dana Kairos um, Swamp Kibble um, passively, but you cannot approach the Dana Kairos unless you have 
a red panda on your shoulder. That's another reason why you want to have one of these creatures, okay? Now, these guys will spawn in the jungle, the redwoods, the fertile chamber on, um, on aberration, and the sunken forest on extinction. Um, in the wild, red pandas will not be attacked by predators. And if you attack the red panda while it is in its wild, pre-tamed state, um, all the creatures nearby will flock towards you and attack you, especially any um, herbivores that hap happen to be near you. Kind of think of the super turkey from the Thanksgiving event. It kind of has that effect on you. Um, again, as I said earlier, when they are tamed, they give off the cuddle buddy um, buff where allied survivors and dinos um, will receive a, effect, uh, a healing effect which gives you 3.2 units of health per second. Uh, it also causes those under its effects to draw no aggression from certain creatures, which I already named. Um, so yeah, they also can wear hats. And um, they do have a very small um, attack, which is kind of a bite. Um, as far as animals that can carry... The um, red panda, dang near everything in the game can, including Tyranodons, Tappies, Argies, Wyverns, dang near everything, Carquinos. They, they can be immobilized by bolas, net projectiles, bear traps, plant species Y, and the Ariops from the same um, mod will immobilize it as well. Um, so yeah, that's the red panda. Very, very cool creature. From the additional creatures um, to Wild Ark mod, the Red Panda. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you got anything out of this spotlight guide and um, taming video, please show the video some love by liking it. And of course, if you want to see more like this video, you can, of course, subscribe. And I will catch you down the road. Thanks for watching.